Okay, so I just come to the office this morning, um, and one of the first things I see on Twitter was a comment from a guy saying how he liked to close and gub people's betting accounts. Um, for those of you who don't understand what that means, obviously just restrict the bets, um, not allow them to bet with the company, and take the free bet offers that they offer. So, if you've followed me for a while, you'll know that this kind of thing just aggravates me. I see it a lot on Twitter. I've got a little bit of time this morning. The guy's obviously a funny guy. If you look at his feed, you know, he likes to have a bit of a laugh and a bit of a crack, um, aside from closing people's accounts um, that win and uh, only allowing mug money to come to the company that he works for. He clearly works for BetBright because if you look at his news feed, he's retweeted and shared everything from BetBright, no other bookmaker. Um, I've got nothing against BetBright, but obviously the guy thinks it's funny to, um, to have a laugh at other people's expense close down their accounts, um, take their, the free bet offers away from them and carry on advertising to the mugs. So I just thought, you know, by, by, by way of having a laugh, because I, I like to have a laugh as well, I've got a sense of humour as well. This morning I'll open up a BetBright account, um, I'll place a few bets with them, I'll see how long it lasts and I'll place a video on YouTube um, and just see how the feedback goes to that. So here we are, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, you can see in the bottom right corner there. Um, I'm going to open up this account now with BetBright. Uh, and we'll start off with plonking 100 quid in it and see what we can do. Okay, so quite predictably, I'm back after three hours of having a bet bright account and it's been limited to two pound stakes. Uh, and that is the state of bookmaking in 2016 because bookmakers are just here to extort money from the gullible and confuse people. Um, they send you loads of emails about their great prices, about their free bet offers, and by the way, I didn't actually use the free bet offers from BetBright, so um, I've not abused the free bet offers as Chris said on Twitter this morning, but um, if you take value prices because their pricing is poor, their problem with their business and their broken business model, um, because exchanges supersede um, bookmakers, then they don't want you. They'll, they'll limit you to £2. So if you've got a betting account with BetBright and you can bet more than £2, they've got you labelled as a mug and they will keep sending you all them free bet offers, all them prices and, and carry on trying to get you to bet just to rip you off. And literally, if you're not, in three hours or less, they will limit you to £2. Cut and dry. That's how it is. Um, I'd absolutely love for Channel 4 Racing or Racing UK or At The Races or The Racing Post to get in touch with us and have like a live open debate, whether it's on Twitter or get me in and talk, etc. Talk to the punters and, and talk about this issue. They won't because the bookmakers own all of them and they're part of the problem. But um, yeah, it's just another case of bookmakers taking a piss. But after that tweet this morning from Chris, thought it was quite important just to have a good laugh on Chris as well. He's a funny guy, he likes a good laugh, he's got to catch them all, but I've got to expose them all. So, uh, bet bright. Joke. <laughs>